if I knew then what I know now, would I have done things differently? And then, <laughs> probably not, no. <laughs> you see, BMX has played a huge part in my life for over 12 years. I've had some great experiences and great opportunities. I've travelled across the country to many skate parks, just encouraging girls to have fun. <laughs> and that's what we did. We were just having fun on bikes. In July 2015, my world changed. It started as a spinal fracture at NAS. Um, the MRI from the spinal fracture discovered a birth defect, a cyst on my spinal cord. I've had many consultations, many procedures, and 18 months on, I'm no closer to a full recovery. My reality is trying to get out of bed. The human body is crazy. It'll give you great days. It'll give you good days and then not so great days. And that's when I feel like I've done nothing. But then I have to remember <laughs> that I learned how to fly. <laughs> With a bike, of course, no wings needed. But I've done all sorts. I've been in commercials, I've done shows, I've been in magazines. Like, it's been great. It's the excitement. It's the adrenaline. But with an injury like this, I can't really do this anymore. I have a potential risk of being paralysed. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> we all have our own story, which affect us both physically and mentally. We made it! Yeah! I think my doctors began to see that I was struggling so they gave me a gold card. <laughs> the chance to be able to go ride my bike for a session. Sitting still for this long has been very difficult. <laughs> but this would be completely at my own risk. I am so lucky just to be able to still use my legs. But this gave me the chance to feel like myself. It's a long road ahead. It's not over yet. But at least I've made the most of 2016. It could always be worse. <laughs>